Hello students. In the series of videos related to game theory, the next topic, the next method that we are going to cover today is probability method. This method is also known as equal gains method as it presumes that all the gains that the players will be getting out of different alternatives will have equal gains. This method is also called equal gains as well as probability method. Now this method is applicable only and only in case both the players have two strategies only. As we have already done in such cases odds method can also be applied. But sometimes if the question asked in the examination is of 15 marks or 20 marks you cannot apply the odds method as it is going to take hardly two steps to solve the question. So first you have to solve the problem if whether it has a settle point or not. If it does not carry a settle point you can go ahead with the probability or equal gains method. Now it makes use of P and Q and with the help of probabilities we find out the value of game. Now let us see this with the help of one practical question. Now this is the practical question in front of you which we are going to solve with the help of equal gains method and another name of equal gains method is the probability method. So now X player X is the maximizing player here and player Y is the minimizing player. So first of all let us check whether the game has a settle point or not. So if I take the row minima it is 1, row wise minimum it is 2. So these are the values of row minima and the values of column maxima 4 and 3. So any of the values do not match. So you will be writing that maximum is not equal to minimax. These are not equal. So it means the game does not have a saddle point. So when the games does not have a saddle point, it means the game is not possible to be solved with the help of pure strategy. We will move ahead towards the mixed strategy and in the mixed strategy when the game is of 2 by 2 size we can make use of equal gains method or the probability method. Now let us write the question again clearly to start the probability method. Now here you have to write some lines while solving the question. So first of all thus keep this thing in mind thus we first strategy of x we have to name it as small p and the second strategy of player x it will be given the name of 1 minus p1. First strategy is given the name of P or P1 and the second strategy is 1 minus P because we know that total probability is always equal to 1. So the lines you have to write below this table is let P1 that we have just named P1 is the probability of player x p1 is the probability of player x y for selecting strategy number one because we have named it at our own so we have to write this line let p1 is the strategy of player x for choosing strategy number one in the same way let one minus p1 you have to write it completely let one minus p1 is the probability of player x for selecting strategy number 2. So we have named it and we have clarified also that we have presumed this fact. Same we will do with Y also. So it will be named as Q1 and it will be named as 1 minus Q1. So as P 1 minus P here Q 1 minus Q. So again we will be writing the line let Q1 is the probability of player Y now. Q1 probability of player Y for selecting strategy number 1 for first strategy of Y that is Q1 we have just named it Q1 again we will write let 1 minus Q1 is the probability of player Y for selecting strategy number 2. So these four lines you have to write in a proper way that we have named it. This is P1, this is 1 minus P1, this is Q1, this is 1 minus Q1. So we are just telling them that we have presumed this fact. Now we will be writing the expected payoff. Expected payoff means the returns. So expected payoff of player X. We have to write first for X. Expected payoff of X if 
why chooses strategy number one now why is choosing the first strategy why first strategy so we are finding the payoff of x so that will be equal to if y choosing the first strategy it means this so 4 into p1 4 p1 plus 2 into 1 minus p 4 into p plus 2 into 1 minus p this will be the payoff for x if y is choosing the first strategy so we have wrote it right so next second we will write expected payoff of x if y chooses strategy number 2 now y may choose second strategy also now this it will be 1 p1 1, 1 into p1 plus 3 into 1 minus p1 1 p1 3 p1 this is the second strategy that y may choose so now these are the two payoffs of player x this is the payoff of player x because y is going to choose any of the two strategies then we will be writing since the payoff under both situations under both the alternatives that we have written are bound to be equal As it is equal gains method, it means whether they choose the first strategy or the second strategy, the payoff should be equal. Equal gain. Payoff is the gain. So now we will presume that these two are equal. So our first equation was 4p1 plus 2 1 minus p is equal to. We are putting them equal now. p1 plus 3 1 minus p1. So, when you put them to be equal, you have to now solve these and you have to first calculate the value of P1. So, now let us open this. It is 4P1. It will be 2. Open it. 2P1 is equal to P1 plus 3 minus 3P1. Now, let us just take all the P's on one side. 4P1 minus 2P1. These will come on the left side. Minus P1 plus 3p1 is equal to 3 and this 2 will go there this so now let us solve these p's so solving this it comes out to be 4p1 and this is 1 so from here we have got the value of p1 that is 1 by 4 so these equations will help us in solving so if p is 1 by 4 p1 so we can very easily calculate what will be 1 minus p1 so we can reduce it it will be 1 minus 1 upon 4 that will be 3 upon 4. So now you have to take these two values. We have made use of these two equations to calculate our P1 and 1 minus P1. So you have to solve this 1 minus P1 also that comes out to be 3 by 4. So these two values we have got. So this we have taken payoff of X. If Y chooses the first strategy payoff of X. If Y chooses the second strategy both were kept equal. Now this we have done for P. Now we will do it for Q. It means now we will write expected payoff of Y if X chooses the first strategy. Now let's have a look at the question and make another two equations. Now in the second phase of the question we will write expected payoff of player Y. We are calculating the payoff of Y if X chooses the first strategy strategy number one now x is choosing the first strategy x first strategy it will be 4q1 plus 1 1 minus q1 4q1 4q1 plus 1 1 minus q1 again we will write expected payoff of player y if x chooses strategy number 2 now x can choose the second strategy also it will be 2q1 2q1 and plus 3 1 minus q1 again we have got two payoffs now we will keep them equal we will write since both the payoffs are bound to be equal as it is the equal gains method so now let's make them equal and 
our equation will become 4q1 plus 1 1 minus q1 is equal to 2q1 plus 3 1 minus q1 so like this so we will open it to calculate the value of q1s 4q1 plus 1 minus q1 is equal to 2q1 plus 3 minus q1. Let us take these q's on one side. 4q1 minus q1 minus 2q1 plus q1 is equal to 3 minus 1. It will be 3q1 on this side. And here also it will be q1 plus 3q1. So solving this it comes out to be 4q1. And this comes out to be Q. So from here Q1 is 2 by 4 that is half. So if Q1 is half, so what will be 1 minus Q1? That will again be half. So we will be writing this also below. If Q1 is half, so 1 minus Q1 will be 1 minus half. That is half. So we have got the values of Q and 1 minus Q. Firstly, we have got the values of P and 1 minus P. Now we have got the values of Q and 1 minus Q. So, these are actually the probabilities that we will show in the final stage. Now, let us see how we will calculate the value of game. This was our original question. The answer of P1 that we got was 1 upon 4. The answer of 1 minus P1 that we got was 3 by 4. The answer of Q1 we got was half and the answer of 1 minus Q was also half. So, these are the four values that we got by putting the gains to be equal. So, from here itself, we will calculate the value of gain. So, just see carefully how we will write this value into this into this. It means 1 upon 4 into 4 into half. So, this, this, this. In front of 4, we have 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2. So, I have multiplied all them. Put a plus sign in between. Plus. Now, do the same for this as well. 1 by 4 into 1 into half. 1 by 4 into 1 into half. Plus. Next, for this also do the same. 2, 3 by 4, 1 by 2. 3 by 4 into 2 into 1 by 2. Plus. 3 into 3 by 4 into 1 by 2. So, when you will solve this, you will be getting the value of game. So now let's solve this. It will be half plus 1 upon 8 plus it will be 3 by 4 and it will be 9 by 8. So taking its LCM, it will be 8, 4, 1, 6 and 9. So this comes out to be 20 by 8. So answer is 5 by 2. So this is the value of game that will be calculated under the equal gains method. Now, after showing this value of game, you have to show the probabilities as well. Probabilities are the same that we have already calculated. So, simply write probability that X will choose the first strategy. Strategy number one, this is the answer, P1. We have assumed it to be P1. So, answer is 1 upon 4. Probability that X will choose strategy number 2, 1 minus P1, that is 3 by 4. Same you will do for Y as well. Probability that Y will choose the first strategy is half. Probability that Y will choose the second strategy also has comes out to be half. So this is the value of game and these are the probabilities. So equal gain method is applied only in case of 2 by 2 matrix. So this is how all the equal gains questions will be solved. Thank you.